Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. With South Africa's potable bulk water supply coming under severe strain, wastewater reuse and desalination have been posited as the most sustainable methods of alleviating drought in the country. Crema Media journalist Dylan Slater joins me now to provide some insight on the matter. Welcome Dylan. Thanks, sir. You spoke to water treatment recycling company Veolia about uh, desalination. Um, can you tell me more about it? Desalination seems to be a buzzword at the moment. Everyone's talking about it. From industry down to the, the organizations that treat the water, right down to the consumer who uses the water. What exactly is desalination? Desalination is a water treatment process whereby mostly salts are removed as well as minerals from water. You get two types of desalination. One is membrane-based, which is referred to as reverse osmosis. The other one is thermal desalination. And although thermal desalination is not really relevant for South Africa because it requires a lot of energy, a lot of industry role players are pointing to reverse osmosis as the most feasible solution. It's not only cheaper to build, but it's cheaper to operate and it's faster to implement and it requires a little bit less energy to operate. And obviously there's an endless supply. So, I mean, with, the, with us being, you know, not a landlocked country, um, are other countries doing it? Other countries that have access to salt water? A lot of other countries are doing desalination. Israel stands out because they're such a water scarce country, there's almost no surface water to speak of. They're using desalination to great success. They have some of the biggest plants in the world. They also use wastewater recycling um, to supplement their desalination process. Wastewater recycling is another feasible option. Um, what is South Africa doing in terms of this? Wastewater recycling seems to be the most feasible solution. It's not only cheaper to build because you can use existing land, you can use existing infrastructure of conventional wastewater treatment works. By recycling wastewater, the price of potable water at the end of the cycle is about half that of desalination. And what is the, the Department of Water and Sanitation? Aren't they very involved in putting forward plans in place to uh, implement water, wastewater recycling? The Departments of Water and Sanitation seem to be expediting a lot of the plans in terms of securing additional potable water in the future. Part of these plans include desalination plants on a mega scale. Another part of these plans include introducing wastewater recycling because it's a new concept in South Africa. It's not done on a commercial scale, especially towards potable standards coming out of the consumer's tap. A lot of the current wastewater recycling treatment takes place for industrial users like petrochemicals companies, um, paper manufacturers. These plants exist, they're in operation. They're just not used for potable standards. And a lot of this comes back to public perception. The public perception around wastewater recycling is quite bad. A lot of people regard this as a toilet to tap initiative. Is there any country um, you know, that you can use as, as an example for uh, that's successfully implementing wastewater recycling on a potable level. Namibia is quite noteworthy. They have the largest wastewater recycling treatment plant in the world that produces 21,000 cubic meters of water a day. That services about 300,000 people. The Namibian authorities have got around the public, the, the poor public perception issue by embarking on awareness campaigns before they instituted the plant. And through these awareness campaigns, Water consumers are aware that the water coming out of the taps is 100% safe. So Gateng seems to have recovered somewhat from the drought that hit us um, in recent years, but uh, Cape Town is still in the midst of it. What is the city doing to mitigate this issue? The city of Cape Town have had to expedite a lot of their plans, although they say their plans are well in advance of 30 years. They're introducing a number of measures to, to ensure water security in the future. Um, of these include a small pilot plant which is being built at Kube Power Station. The aim of this plant is to collect data and they plan to use this data to build a much larger mega plant of about 150 to 450 megalitres a day which is by industry standards a mega plant. Also part of these plans are modular desalination plants. They plan to rent these out and these will either be land based or based offshore and these can be moved around according to where they're most strategically required. That's really interesting. I hope that they can get this off the ground as soon as possible. Thank you, Dylan. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.